I want to invite you to download our free app and find out for yourself why personal trainers are loving it. You can download it at the App Store or on Google Play. There are 365 workouts on this app, so that's one workout for every day of the year. Okay, remember, as always, before you start, please stretch. Take some time to stretch out so you don't pull a muscle or anything else, okay? First stretch I like for you guys to do, simple stuff. Just give me a side twist here, push the hip first, and just reach across. Get everything from your triceps, your lats, down to your obliques, your hip, your legs. You can even use this hand right here to do a little foam stretching, or fong stretching in this case, and get your IT band a little bit, all right? Hip to the other side, reach. Push it down, reach across, relax. Let's go one more time, a little bit more on the active side. Good. And then just the same, just bend down so you get a little bit of your lower back, upper back, hamstrings, calves, shoulders. Reach to one side, middle, reach underneath, outside, back. Low leg bend. I need for you to get down on one knee, push forward, reach up, twist across. So you stretch everything here, here, back here, front here, back here as well. Switch it, please. Push it down, reach up, reach across. Get a nice stretch on the twist. Get all the way down. And that should do it. This next one, we're doing both a combo of a squat, curl up to a press. So you go down as low as you can, up curl, hammer, hammer, press, okay? We'll do 15 reps. All the while, keep your arms this way. Don't turn it in or out. Here we go. Nice and tall. Keep count on it. Up curl, press. One. Try to keep your posture upright all the time. Two. So this squat, your legs are about shoulders width apart. Three. Nice and tall, up curl, four, good. Just keep the movement one to the other. Try to look straight ahead without looking up or down. And all the while, keep the abs tight, please. Tense it up, breathe, good. Nice and steady. Work the muscles you're working on by focusing on it. Like now it's a squat, now it's a curl, now it's a shoulder press, okay? All the while, my grip is tight. This next one is an alternating angle lunge with a lateral raise. So you basically, instead of going forward, you wanna go to the side, come back, and then go to the other side, come back, okay? We're gonna go 12 counts each side. All right, nice and tall, keep your posture perfect, here we go. We got a lateral raise every time you go down, right? Do not go too far forward where the knee bends over your toes, okay? That's sheer force on the knee. Not a good thing to do over and over again. The breathing is when you're going down. Most of the time when you lunge, you breathe out when you come up. But because you're doing a shoulder exercise here, you want to breathe out when you're raising the weight up. Keep your posture perfect, nice and tall, no bending. This next one, we're doing a combo set of a deadlift row, kick back, and then undo everything, okay? We're gonna go 12 reps. So, always keep your posture perfect. Don't round down. All right, ready? Tight grip, here we go. Deadlift, row, kick back, unkick back, unrow. That's one. We're gonna go 12 reps, remember. Each and every rep, focus on what you're supposed to be doing, 
and the muscles you're working on. Deadlift, row, kick back, unkick back, unrow, undeadlift. Okay? 15 reps, keep it moving. So while you're resting one muscle group, the other one's working. This way, it allows you to keep going without burning out any one muscle group, but it tires all of them out by the end. When you do a kickback, keep the elbow up as you kick and unkick. Row, kick. All right, the next one here, we have a lateral raise and then single, single. We'll go for 10 reps total. Grab your weight, stand nice and tall. Here we go. Up, hold it, one, one. Up, hold it, then the other side. Breathe out. Breathe out. Try to keep that arm still as you lower down the other side. Next one here, we're gonna bend over. Hold that bending. We're gonna do row and then one arm at a time. Each and every row you come up, that counts as one. You have 12 reps. Here we go. Keep your posture perfect. You do not wanna round off your upper back, but pull up as high as you can. Hold that row, and then go one arm at a time. Next one here, we have a static sumo squat. While you hold that, you do upright row. Okay, hold that squat, we got 12 reps, okay? Nice and tall, here we go, breathe. <sighs> On the upright row, get your elbows up higher than your neck. The weight goes about shoulders width, collarbone. Please do not hit your chin. <sighs> when you come down, straight arm, Hit your triceps. This next one is a ball catcher. It's basically a curtsy, but really close to the other leg, okay? So, you're gonna go 12 counts each side. Here we go. Keep the upper body as nice and tall as you can. Get the knee behind the other foot and try to go down as low as you can. Lightly touch the ground if you can, but if that hurts your knees or anything along the way, please go, don't go down that low. The forward foot that you're standing on, even pressure on your heel and toes, do not get onto your toes only. This is a little bit harder than the curtsy because it forces you to go really close. Well done, switch legs, here we go. So behind the other one, nice and tall, if you're doing it, Try to keep your upper body straight. Look straight ahead, okay? Focus on your balance on the foot that's in the front. Balance on that one and curtsy behind the knee right next to the ankle of the other side. This one we have a good morning into a squat. We'll do one of each for 10 of each, okay? So it looks like this. You wanna go good morning and then a squat. All right, hold on, hold on to the weight, run in front of the chest. Keep your posture perfect, here we go. So try to bend, look straight ahead. That's one. Go down as low as you can, but keeping your eyes look straight ahead. That way you feel the hamstrings and the glutes, and then you work on your quads and your glutes. Nice and steady on your form. Always keep that posture nice and upright. Notice my lower back is not rounding off and not moving at all. It's just my hamstrings and then my glutes and the quads. This next one is a combo set of a sumo squat up into a curl and as you hold here, go into a round overhead 
slap the weight in with the thumbs in. Keep your posture perfect, 12 rounds. All right, here we go, right? Perfect posture, squat down, up curl, bam. That hit you do on top is crucial because it sends a vibration through your body and that makes your bones really strong because it now has to compensate and the muscles grow much faster along with the bones. So this is great for everything in addition to building up your bone density. Up curl, round, smack. Curl, smack. Curl up, thumbs in, smack. Keep your posture perfect. This next one, we're doing both a combo of a squat, curl up to a press. So you go down as low as you can, up curl, hammer, hammer, press, okay? We'll do 15 reps. All the while, keep your arms this way, don't turn it in or out. Here we go, nice and tall. Keep count on it, up curl, press, one. Try to keep your posture upright all the time, two. So this squat, your legs are about shoulders width apart, three. Nice and tall, up curl, four, good. Just keep the movement one to the other. Try to look straight ahead without looking up or down. And all the while, keep the abs tight, please. Tense it up. Breathe, good. Nice and steady. Work the muscles you're working on by focusing on it. Like now it's a squat, now it's a curl, now it's a shoulder press, okay? All the while, my grip is tight. Woo! Okay, that earns you a major stretch. Well done. All right, recover and stretch with me. Since we're breathing real hard here, it's not good to stretch by closing it down. So first one, let's lie you down and just drop and open all this up and die. Ah, breathe. Nice deep breaths. Control your breathing down. Good, there you go. Excellent, let's keep the same. Angle to the knee, about 90 degrees. Drop this foot sideways. Some people do it like this, that hinders it. Drop it down sideways first. And let this gravity weight here push it down a little bit more. And breathe deep and relax. You've earned it. Way to push hard. The harder you push, the faster you get your results. And the stronger you get, the faster you'll get it. But know your pace though, okay? Each and every time you work out, it's a different day. You could be really strong today, you do it again the next day, because you didn't sleep well, you didn't eat well, it might be different. So you go according to your perceived exertion of fitness. How do you, do, how do you feel for that day? If you're stronger, go faster, go heavier. Rest shorter in between. Pull your knees to your chest. Come up. All right, let's do a little open. Pull it in as much as you can. And just try to pull yourself down so you stretch everything in between here. Your adductors. Whew. Well done. If you did that whole routine, seriously, you can tell. That was not just intermediate level. That was more intermediate advanced. And it was a good push. If you feel strong with that one, go heavier on the weights. Go more reps in between, okay? Last one, cross, and let's twist it out. So right about now, your breathing should be really slow down. Focus in your head. Calm your breathing down. Calm your heart rate down and recover. 
the more you do this, the faster you recover, the more oxygen you have in your blood, the better you move all throughout the day. It's hard, but the more you do it, it gets easier and easier. But you gotta challenge yourself. You're doing great. Just come back to this website. We have thousands upon thousands of different exercises. Make it interesting, make it new. When you're doing something you're not used to, even though it seems so easy, there's a mind-body connection. Synapses are going in your brain. It actually makes you more alert, more aware, and just more vital. So we'll see you back here next time. Thank you so much for doing this with me. I'm done. I hope you are too. We'll see you next time. Thank you.